Uh, hello everybody. Uh, to celebrate 100 subscribers, I'm going to be reading the Declaration of Independence. Um, in case you didn't know, the United States was founded July 4th, 1776. And uh, I'm sick and it's going to be hard to read and I hate speaking when I'm sick. So, let's do it. <coughs> I reckon it starts here. The unanimous declaration of the 13 United States of America, when in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which laws of nature and, the, and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should be, that they should declare the causes which impel them to separation we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal that are that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable unalienable rights among these are life liberty and the pursuit of happiness that to secure these rights governments are instituted among men deriving their powers from the con consent of the governed that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and to inst institute new government, laying its foundations on such principles, and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem more seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes and according all all experience hath sown uh, that mankind are most disposable to suffer while evil evils are sufferable then to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed <laughs> but when a long train of abuses usurpations pursuing Invariably, the same object Evans. They can't, bro. Put a period there. Come on now. Uh, Evans is a design to reduce under absolute despotism. I don't know. It is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Uh, such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies and such is now the necessary which constrains them to alter their former systems of government the history of the present king of great britain is a history of repeating injuries and usurpations, all having indirect object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over these states to prove this let's facts be submitted to a candid world he has refused to assent to laws the most wholesome and necessary for the public good he has forbidden his governors to pass laws of immediate pressing importance unless suspended in their operation till his assent should be obtained and when so suspended he has utterly neglected to attend them he has refused to pass other, other laws for the accommodation of large districts of people unless those people would relinquish the right of representation in the legislature a right an estimable uh, to them and formidable to tyrants only he has called together legislative bounds uh, at places unusual uncomfortable and distant from the depository of their public records for the sole pur purpose of fatiguing them into compliance with his measures he has dissolved rep representative houses repeatedly by opposing with many with manly firmness his invasions of the right of the people he has refused for a long time, such as dissolutions to cause others to be elected, whereby the le legislative powers incapable of annihilation have returned to the people at large for their exercise. The state remaining in the meantime exposed to all the dangers of invasion, invasion without form and convulsions with This guy's a douchebag, oh my god. <laughs> he has endeavored uh, to prevent the population of these states for that purpose of obstructing the laws for naturalization of foreigners refusing to pass others to encourage their migrations hither 
and raising the conditions of new appropriations of lands. He has obstructed the administration of justice by refusing his assent to laws for establishing judiciary powers. He has made judges dependent on his will alone for the tenure of their officers, offices and the amount and payment of their salaries. Holy <laughs> Only slightly corrupt, guys. He has... Uh, erected a multitude erected a multitude of new offices and sent hither sw swarms of off officers to harass our people and eat out their substance. He has kept among us in times of peace standing armies without the consent of our legislatures. He has affected to render the military independence of and superior to the civil power. He has combined with others to subject us to jurisdiction foreign to our constitution and unacknowledgeably by our laws giving his assent to their actions of pretended legislation for quartering large bodies of armed troops among us for protecting them by a mock, by a mock trial from punishment for any, any murders with they, which they should commit in, oh, on the inhabitations of these states for cutting off our trade with all parts of the world, for imposing taxes on us without our consent, for depriving, depriving us in many cases the benefit of trial by jury, for transporting us beyond seas to be tried for pretended offenses, for abolishing the free system of English laws in neighboring province, establishing therein an arbitrary government, and enlarging enlarging its boundaries so as to render it at once an example of infinite instruments of introducing the same rule into these colonies this guy's slightly a douchebag man i would not enjoy to be under this man's rule i don't know about y'all <laughs> for taking away our charters abolishing our most valuable laws and altering fundamentally the forms of our governments for suspending our own legislatures and declaring themselves invested with the power to legislate for us in, in all cases whatsoever. He has abdicated government here by declaring us out of his protection and, and waging war against us. He has plundered our seas, ravaged our coasts, burnt our towns, and destroyed the lives of our people. Uh, he is at this time transporting large armies of foreign mercenaries to complete works of death, desolation, and tyranny, already begun with circ circumstances of cruelty, profiteri, scarlacy, paralleled in the most barbarous ages, and totally unworthy the head of, of a civilization, civilized nation. He has constrained our fellow citizens taken captive on the high seas to bear arms against their country, to become the executioners of their friends and brethren, or to fall themselves by their hands. He has ex excited domestic in instructions among us and has endeavored to bring on the inhabit inhabitants of our frontiers, the merciless, the merciless Indian savages whose known rule of warfare is undistinguished destruction of all ages, sexes, and conditions. Before you guys laugh, it's gender. <laughs> Death. In every stage of these operations, oppressions, we have petitions for redress in the most humble terms. Our repeated petitions have been answered only by repeated injury. A prince whose charter is thus marked by every act which made fine a tyrant is unfit to be the ruler of free people of a free people. <coughs> oh, this is where my voice is about to crap. Oh, I'm almost at the end. Yes. No, I'm only saying that because of my voice. Nor have we been wanting in attentions to our Br British brethren. We have warned them from time to to time of attempts by their legislature to extend unwarrantable jurisdictions over us. We have remained them of circumstances of our immigration and settlement here. We have appealed to their native justice and magnanimity. We have conjured them by ties of our common kindred 
to disavow these usurpations, which would inevitably interrupt our consequences and correspondence. They too have been deaf to the voice of justice and of consonantuity. Don't know. We must therefore acquiesce us in the necessary which denounces our separation and hold them as we hold the rest of mankind enemies in war in peace friends last friggin paragraph here we go <coughs> they didn't capital capitalize the u and united just want to point that out we are therefore the representatives of the united states of america in general congress assembled appealing to the supreme judge of the world for the rectitude of our inventions do in the name of, don't need that do in the name and by authority of good people of these colonies solemnly solemnly publish and declare that these united colonies are right ought to be free and of right ought to be free and independent states that they are absolved from all allegiance to the british crown and that all political connection between them and this state of great britain is and ought to be totally dissolved and that as free and independent states have full power to levy war can conclude peace contract alliances establish commerce and to do all other acts and things which independent states may have right do things yeah totally professional and for the support of this declara declaration with firm reliance on the protection of divine providence we mutually pledge to each other our lives our fortunes and our sacred honor to summarize said uh said uh to that to essentially summarize that entire thing it's essentially saying screw you ah <laughs> uh, there's a full p i can't Whew. okay like imagine me trying to read oh i messed that one up imagine me trying to read this it wouldn't happen and now on to the nice part Ooh, 12 minutes of reading thank you guys for 100 subscribers as of this recording i have like 106 i believe going to youtube studio uh yeah 106 subscribers i don't know what i would do without you guys you guys have definitely changed my life for the better i mean you guys have given me a whole sense of what did you guys have filled my free time immensely i don't know what i'd do without y'all thank you guys for everything thank you guys for everything that will come and thank you guys for these 106 different people that have subscribed to my channel there will be an i in the upper right hand corner don't want to mess it up it's probably that one uh yeah to vote if I should make a second channel for alternate history, stuff like that, and essentially prevent burnout. So yeah, thank you guys for watching uh, this premiere. 14 minutes. Oh my god. So yeah, thank you guys for 100 subscribers. I never thought I'd get here. A lot of people didn't think either. I don't feel like exposing them right now because I'm done talking. Okay, thank you guys. I love you all. Um, I actually do that heart rate. So yeah, please be safe. Uh, if you guys have any want to hang out, I stream like every weekend. Please come out and say hi. And uh, before this gets too long, yeah, see you guys. Love you guys.